Hey everybody, it's not you. Welcome back to my channel. Today, it is Friday, July 30th. And it has been about exactly two weeks since I made a video, but I'm back today. I know I only made two videos in July, but hopefully I'll be able to make more in August. So anyway, today I am going to be doing a video that is very requested. I have not done it before, but I'm finally going to be able to do it. And that is an Assumptions About Me video. So the Assumptions About Me video is a kind of popular YouTube thing. And we have been doing it on YouTube for about maybe like two or three years. And I mean, honestly, it's something that kind of like goes in and out of popularity. So it might be in one month and out next month. But I think it's kind of about average right now. It's just like some YouTubers want to do it, some don't. And it's kind of like every YouTuber feels pressure to do one at some point. So I am doing one, guys. I think it's going to be really fun. You guys, I have not checked the assumptions that you guys have sent me yet. But I'm going to do that today. I'm going to be answering them so you can see if what you assume about me is true. And, by the way guys, I forgot to mention this, but there are going to be some people who are joining me for today's video. Georgia, Henny, Laura, and Cam and Bud. Because you guys, honestly, you had some assumptions about my family too. So, they're going to be joining. And I'm not sure if my moon and dude will end up being in this or not. Probably not. But if there's any assumptions about them, then they will be sure to be featured in today's video. So, come on. Because we're about to be spilling the tea. So I am here with everyone who's gonna be my video. Penny, Cam, Bud, Laura, and Anyway, we're gonna start the assumptions. So hopefully my iPad has um like what's it called? Can't think. What is wrong? I'm a mental block. Oh, service. Okay, yeah. Hopefully my iPad has service up here. So no we do do, but roll the clips. Okay, everybody, so the first assumption is that you like cats more than dogs. Hmm. Um, okay, anybody else want to answer this first? Uh, I'm more of a dog person. Uh, I like both because they're great. Uh, I like, I really like both of them. Probably I do like cats a little more because dogs can be kind of like eh, jumpy sometimes and cats are really sweet. So, yeah, I'm probably more of a cat person. Um... You know what, like, I like them equally, but I do really like Ello, but then I also really like Primrose, so, like, I'm probably an equal person. Uh, well, you know, personally, not really a dog or cat person, you know, love both of them, but, um, you know, I'm more of a donkey girl, you know, more into that sort of sheep, oh, I'm a goat girl too, you know, donkey, goat, that type of thing. Love cats and dogs too. <laughs> yes, I like kids more than dogs. No, I like dogs more than kids. I actually like like a big sheep dog, so probably a dog. Okay, the assumption is just for me, and that is um, you quit piano. No, I did not quit piano. I'm actually a very good pianist. So whoever, Why are you a who ever. Whoever um, assumed that is very rude, and I don't want you to follow me anymore oh, if that's oh, what oh, you oh, think of me. Chill out, honey. The next assumption is my favorite fast food place is Burger King. Um, that's actually very offending. Um, I'm a Wendy's girl. Um, I really like Panera Bread. I eat McDonald's because it's oily. I don't know. I kind of like Wendy's too. Um, I like Burger King because it's Laura, we don't even have those here, so she's probably like a Duncan girl. Next assumption is you have hair extensions. No, I don't. Um, I did actually do a hair treatment last year because my hair was just in like literally awful condition. So my hair did grow really quickly, but no, I do not have hair extensions. So that's false. Okay, guys, so the next assumption is very insulting. It is you are secretly jealous of JoJo, and that's why you suddenly started wearing giant bows. Ooh. Honestly, that is so annoying because they literally sell bows like this at Claire's and you can be any age and wear a bow, but really, I mean, she's like... What, she was 18? She's too old about it. Honestly, that is just weird. 
No, I do not envy Jojo at all. I really think she's like, um, she's just weird. So let's, let's just put it like that. I think she is jealous. The assumption is you want to quit YouTube. No, I do not want to quit YouTube. I have been having some difficulties coming up with ideas for videos, but that is mainly because I've been so busy. Um, like going to Joy Z and stuff. So no, I do not want to quit YouTube. I am always going to be a YouTuber. Hey guys, the next assumption it is for Georgia. It is you want to have more kids soon. So, um, yes, I do definitely want a big family. Um, uh, definitely planning on having more. At the moment, you know, I am pretty, pretty busy with my own stuff and my, you know, two other kids. But, you know, if I end up having another baby soon, then that's fine. I'm just not really planning on it. Yeah, and Georgia, the dress you're wearing is actually from your company, right? This is from my company. It's from my company. This is from my company. It is a really, you know, nature sustaining, environmentally friendly burlap fabric. It's really it weird. Cool. <laughs> the assumption is you're very tall. Um, I think I think I am pretty tall, but I'm also very wide, so I'm just like a big person. Um, I don't really have much else to say about that. I am I am tall. So guys, it's pretty obvious. Um, I'm very tall. I'm honestly I'm like six two, so don't judge me. I'm a tall gal. That's why I started a nature-based, environmentally vegan-friendly company for tall girls like me and short girls like Cam and everybody in between because you can be everything and anything you want and whoever you want to be. So go check it out on all shapes and sizes. My company. Next assumption is for Henny and it is that you're going to start public school in the fall. Um... I'm actually not sure yet because if you didn't know, I graduated middle school from the amazing private school and I'm so sad because if I'm not able to go back to that school, then it will mean leaving behind all my friends and like we might not all go to the same school. But there is a possibility that my school is going to add on high school, so I'm just like crossing my fingers and praying for that, so uh, please, please, please continue into high school. Next question is for Laura, and that is that you're jealous of me, Laura. Are you jealous of me? Mm, no, I'm not jealous of Nectar. She's a really cool, you know, influencer. And you know, she's kind of pretty, but, you know, I'm not jealous of her. I'm just a nervous girl, she's gonna live in my dreams. Assumption is that my favorite Starbucks drink is a vanilla bean cream. And that's actually correct. Yes, that is my favorite Starbucks drink. Anybody else who want to share their orders? Um, so I like a blonde vanilla latte in the winter and um, a strawberry lemonade in the summer. Uh, I like the strawberries and cream because it's creamy. Uh, I don't know what you know. I like to get a lot of different things, but i probably go with like, you know, a dark like mocha, crumble. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't get Starbucks much, but probably like the kiwi starfruit drink, so yeah. Guys, I do not do Starbucks. Yeah, get over it. Next assumption is that I'm a good swimmer, and yes, that's true. I'm a very good swimmer. I think everybody here is actually a pretty good swimmer, so that question was short and easy and accurate. Assumption is that I want to work at Adams like my moon, and yes, I want to be manager of Adams like my moon when I grow up. So yeah, I do want. That's correct. Also, that's so. This has actually been several correct ones in a row. That is very surprising for this kind of video. Guys, the next assumption is that Ello died. Who would have assumed that? Ello is such a big part of my life, and he did not die. He's actually doing really well. I'll insert a clip of him. But no, Ello did not die. He is really healthy. He's really great. And I just love him so much. So just make sure that you know that Ello is here and he is amazing. So my assumption video is almost over. I only have two more assumptions. And this next one is really weird. It said, what if you move to Florida? So it's not really an assumption. So you didn't really get that right. But no. Why would I want to move to Florida? Honestly, if I had to live anywhere other than New York, it would be New Jersey. No, New Jersey. You know, New Jersey. No, 
You know what I did? You know, Joy's in. Joy's is the place for me. And you know, it's great too. Last question is pretty juicy, and it is, you have a boyfriend. That's a girl. Yeah. Do I love you? Yeah. Do I love you? Yeah. Do I love you? Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Max is my Valentine. Alright guys, that was the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it so much because it was really fun for me to film. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you soon. Stay tuned for my next video and good.